Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking and welcome back to this uh, scary wonderful world of Subnautica. So, when we last left, we had problems. We had problems galore. Polly's not doing too good. Polly's leaking. Well, not really leaking, but Polly's just not having a good time right now. We had to put out a fire. Polly had a little bit of heartburn. There's something weird happened while we were gone. A mysterious thing has appeared in Polly. Morning. External hull damage detected. I, I, I know, Polly. It's okay. So, this apparatus has strangely appeared. I'm guessing the developers of the game decided that this is going to be in addition to the Cyclops. Not really sure what it does yet. It doesn't have any areas where I can click. Oh, I take it back. Oh, okay. You can actually... Okay, you can actually... Okay, this is where you can... Um, this is where you can put in... Uh, upgrades and stuff. Okay. Okay, I got it. It's it's a it's a, an upgrade thing where you can do it while it's docked. That's actually pretty awesome. I like that. Okay, now that we've figured that out, let's uh, take care of a little piece of business. We're going to build ourselves a locker. We're going to do our thing. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right there. All right. Now it's time. To, I don't have as much room to do my back and forth thing in here than I usually do. Okay, so, locker. What shall we name our locker? Locker, locker, locker. I know what I'm going to name my locker. I'm going to name my locker Derek. Uh, you remember I told you in the last episode, Derek was the guy that makes those the, the bead beanies that I wear a lot. So, uh, Derek, this locker is for you. Now, we really, really, really need to repair our baby problem is apparently there is a nice big ghost leviathan waiting for us on the outside and I would really not like to get eaten today I wish I knew where mr. ghost leviathan was actually I can look let me take a look at the cameras here Morning. let's it's see if we can find mr. Detail. ghost leviathan I don't see him anywhere. Maybe he decided to fuck off. Hopefully that is the case. And when I step outside to repair Polly, I will not instantly be gobbled up. That would be great. Another thing I would kind of like to do... Let me see what it's going to take to build us a decoy. Three titanium and a wiring kit. What does it take to build a wiring kit? Two ore. So three ti or two silver ore. So I need three titanium and two silver ore. I think we actually have that here on the Cyclops. I'm sorry, on Polly. So there's one titanium. Uh, let's see. That's three titanium and there's two silver. Awesome. Because I... Whenever I start this thing back up again, I would like to be able to get put out a decoy. Why can I not do a thing? Oh, I gotta make the wiring kit first. I want, uh, before I started filming, I really want to build me a health thing, a health maker on here. As you can see, I'm down to half health. But unfortunately, that requires fiber mesh, and fiber mesh requires a uh, creep vine samples and uh, getting creep vine samples down here it ain't gonna happen so let's go enter in our decoy oh that made three of them sweet you know what I might do do I have two more titanium somewhere I more do external hull damage detected I know Polly, we're gonna we're gonna fix you up here in a second. I'm actually gonna put a locker. Where can I put I'm gonna put a locker right here. I don't know, should I put it over here? Let's put it over here. I'm gonna put me a locker right 
there. We'll na we'll use this to name uh, we'll name this locker in the next episode. This is going to house us some of them. All right, now Polly has lots of damage. We got one, two, three, four, five, six damaged areas that we need to fix. All right, what I'm going to do now is freaking save because I have a feeling that the next few minutes of my life are not going to be fun. All right, let's get out our repair tool. Let's go. All right, Polly, show me where it hurts. Thought I had my repair tool out already. Okay. It's okay, Polly. I'm going to fix you up all good and nice. I just hope I'm not going to get eaten in the process of doing this. That was two spots. There's another one that we missed. Okay, apparently not. Apparently that's just a place where we're leaking. Okay, all the other ones must be on the other side. Got our babies beautiful. Was that a warper I just saw over there? I don't, I don't want to have to deal with any warpers right now. I got enough problems. Okay, come on, Polly. We got to repair you. You've been hurt. You've been abused. There you go. You and that ghost leviathan had an abusive relationship. You did not come out on the better end. He's been beating on you. I'm so sorry. He's a mean, mean man. Fish. Whatever. He might be a mammal. I don't know. Alright, that should be poly repaired. Let's go take a look around. Oh, crap. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, let's go get in before we get eaten. Captain, all systems online. Okay, good. Polly's all repaired. Yay. All right, let's take a look around here. All right, well, he's over there glitching out, apparently. Or she... Whatever. I'm not going to assume your gender. Alright. This makes me nervous. I don't know. We were looking... For, we were coming through here last time looking for a wreck. I really wish I knew where that wreck was. Because then I wouldn't have to be going around in the dark trying to avoid ghost leviathans. Alright. There's only one way to do this. Now, we actually do have a silent running feature. That we are Okay, there you are. We are definitely going to make use of. We're down to like 7% power, but we do have a lot of... We do have some... Uh, some more... Uh, oh my god! Power cells. Brand new power cells. I'm waiting for that thing to kind of fuck off before I uh, start up Polly. Apparently it fucked off. Alright. Engine powering up. Pray for me! Rig for silent running. Alright, let's go silent. Hopefully going silent will be enough to fend that thing off long enough for us to get away for a little bit. So I would really not I would really like to not have to go through that again. Okay, we're still looking for that wreck. Some nice little warper waiting on us down there. 
Don't you love how calm I'm acting right now, knowing that there may be a ghost leviathan right on our buttocks? And there went Polly. Polly just died. Okay, that's all right. We can fix that. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and turn. Engine powering down. Let's go ahead and power her down. I can't turn the lights on, guys. It's dark. Oh, Polly, you're spooky. You're spooky when it's dark. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need like backup lights or something, man. This sucks. Okie dokie. All right. Polly got lights again. I really need to build me a power cell charger at some point. In fact, that might be one of our next projects is building a power cell charger. Okay, one more. There we go. All right, Polly should be fully charged. Full charge. Let's go put away our empties. What do I hear banging? What is that? Oh, it's the sheet shredders! I was like, what the word is that banging noise? That's awesome! It's the sea shredders. I almost feel like I want to go out and say hello. I think I might actually. Let's go say hi to the sea treaders, guys. Well, I am now stuck in the door. There we go. Yay, sea treaders! I love the sea treaders. They're so cool looking. There's like a lot of them this time too. There's oh, there's a baby sea treader, and there's a warper. <laughs> there's a poop sea treader poop. Oh, I've been meaning to pick some of this up. We're gonna take some sea treader poop. <laughs> yes, we do. Oh my God, what was that? Suitable for accelerated plant growth. Okay, so that can help us grow some plants. That's kind of awesome, actually. Look! The baby pooped! It's a little... Oh, he tried to boot me. Did you see that? It's a little baby sea treader. This one tried to boot me. Maybe that's the mama. You stay back there, Warper. God, there's a lot of them. There's so many of them. A whole family of sea treaders. I'm gonna collect some poop. Poop. Hey, give me your poop. Oh, I do not want to be here. Okay. Is that one that tried to boot me? I'd rather not be booted. This is so awesome. I love these guys. They make me so happy. Anyone else want to poop for me? Oh, I see some poop. Poop. Crap. Poop. No! Poop. No! No! He tried to boot me. I'm gonna scan one of these guys. No! Why did I do that? That one. And that one. I'm gonna scan you. Scanny, scanny, scanny. Oh, hi there. 
close to me, so I will scan you. Yay, sea treader! Okay. Alright, let's get back to Polly. We've collected enough poop. They seem to be gathering for some reason. It's a sea treader orgy! Alright, let's get back into Polly before we run out of our... Actually, on second thought, I see a collectible. Whoop. What did that say? Ruby? I have never seen Ruby before. That is the first time I've ever seen Ruby. 30 seconds. I thought that was uh, aluminum oxide. Has all my other aluminum oxide turned into Ruby too? Oh, okay. Okay, it's not new. They just turned uh, aluminum oxide into ruby. Ruby, 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 ruby! No, this is not going to be another musical episode. What are you? Oh, crap! Freaking warper. You're a creature egg. I'm collecting you. God dang warper. Really trying to see if we can find this wreck without getting killed. Or maybe we give Polly a little rest. The only thing is we don't want to get too far away. Ooh, what's that? Uraninite. I will definitely take some Uraninite. This is one you haven't seen yet. Uraninite is for when we when we make our uh, ooh diamond when we make our uh, our 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 um, ooh big chunks of uraninite, but it's right by a warper. Damn it! <coughs> when we make our nuclear uh, our nuclear power station, nuclear reactor. That's the word I was looking for. When we make our nuclear reactor, uraninite is going to be used to make the nuclear rods. So we definitely need uraninite. We don't necessarily need it like immediately, but detecting a titanium mass somewhere in this area, unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. Oh, crab squid! So apparently there's a titanium mass somewhere around here. Crab squids can get to be a pain in the butt. I was hoping to get some more bladder fish, but they all seem to have disappeared. There we go. Because we need Wawa. Where'd you go? Come here. Come hither to me. Come here, ye old bitch. Damn it. Come here, I just want to turn you to water and then to urine. Oh my god, I need to hurry up and get back. I just gotta be careful not to get do uh, caught by Mr. Crab Squid. Damn it. There we go. Crap, Warper. Oh man, I really need to get back. Come on! Come on, little sea glide. Do not fail me now. Oh my god, I might die. Taking a shortcut. No. Don't die! 30 seconds. Crap, 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 crap. This ain't good. This is bad. Polly, greet me with your waiting arms. No! Dad, gum it! Okay, it's not good when you're panicking. Thank you, Polly. Let's go make water! I'm so glad we built this fabricator on her!
Okay, and go, 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 go. Stabilizing. Okay, we've got some stuff to put up. I don't know if we got enough room for all of this. We'll have to build another locker. Okay. Okay, Megan. We'll give you some uraninite. Derek, take some poop. And an egg. And a uraninite crystal. What is this? Oh, yeah. So, cave networks below the surface of the area accompanied by unusual cave energy signatures. I wonder if that's the way to the Lost River. I did scan a sea treader. Yay. Alright. Question is, what do we want to do now? Because I really want to find that wreck. Okay! We appear to have found our wreck. All right, now we just need to kind of find us a nice little place to park so we can unload Ed. So that looks like a nice little parking spot right here. Oh, oh, oh. Get too close to the rocks there. Yeah, that should be a good place. Okay. I know, I know. Engine powering down. Alright, let's go hop into Ed. I hear warpers. Alright, let's check. Okay. Let's go ahead and food and water up. good in that department. What is hitting us? Yep, we got a warper. I don't like that. Alright, let's go ahead and put Ed's arms on. Actually, we can't because they're in his thing. Alright. Alright. I don't like deploying this close to a warper. But we don't really have much of a choice. Okay. I think we'll be okay. Are we hitting Polly? I'm sorry, Polly. You just can't seem to get away from these abusive relationships, can you? You know what? Let's go back. Because I really want to put on Polly's grappling arm. Okay. Let's go ahead and put on Polly's arms. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can find us an entrance point to this baby. Watch out below! What we got going on down here? Ain't got nothing to show me. They want to show me none. Oh, 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 what we got, what we got, what we got? Yes! That is exactly what we were looking for, right there. The Cyclops depth module. Awesome. But I hope you don't think that we are just going to leave it at that. Oh, no, no, no. Not on your bloody life. We've got an entire wreck to explore. We're not leaving until it is thoroughly explored. You best believe that. Go ahead and a little bit of collecting there. We 
got anything else of Im import going on around here. We might go ahead and collect all of that uh, quartz that's right there. How about that gold? How about that quartz? Alright, yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, we'll take some salt. Even though that stuff is readily available every freaking where. I didn't mean to open storage. We need to be right there. Oh, she didn't reach. Right there. Why, yes, I will drill quartz. Thank you. Drilling, drilling, drilling. Keep them terrials coming. Drilling, 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 Eddie. Okay, maybe this is another musical episode. One more little chunk. There we go. Now let's go collect us some goodies. Right, see how much material you can get out of just one of those freaking things. Man, that one flew a long way. I kind of want to go check out this little cave over here. Hello. Okay, apparently the cave did not lead anywhere important. Except for just a big ass opening. And some gold. Okay, well that's good to know anyway. Let's get back into Ed. Get some. Where is Ed? There's Ed. So we have got to find us an entrance into this wreckage. All right. Is that an? Is that actually an entrance point right there? I believe it is. This place is just all kinds of busted up. That ain't good. All right. Let's get out our laser cutter. We may have should have dropped off some stuff inside of... Uh, what did I just do? Did I just do something stupid? Yes, I did. I done screwed up everything. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Okay. Might have should have uh, dumped some stuff off in Ed's storage space. Giggity. Before we uh, commence to going in here. Alright. Hello party people. How you doing in here? Oh. It's an elevator. See, that's open. You see this, right? That... I'm not crazy. That's open. We have never been in here before, and that is freaking open. Ass. Hole. Glitches. Nutrient block. I'll take it. I hear a warper. A bastard ass warper. Oh well. We may not have gotten blueprint. But we got some uh, nutrient blocks out of the deal. Seems like it's been forever since we've explored a, a, a really large wreck like this. I kind of missed it. But that's okay, because we're back in the fray. That rhymed. See, there's another one that's open. What is going on with this crap? I'm surprised we were able to get the Mach 1 thing. Okay, not going to be able to get in there. 
I really feel like I'm making a mistake going in here without going back to get oxygen first. We shall see. There's something. Ooh, PDA. I'm going to grab this PDA and then we are going to... We are going to hurriedly... Actually, no. We've got a another point right here. All right. Where is Ed? Because I'm going to need oxygen. Because we can just go right back in there. I picked up a PDA, but it didn't say anything. It didn't acknowledge we got another PDA. What the crap? Have we been to this wreck already? And I just forgot? How have we got two blueprints? What else have I blueprinted? Okay, we got the Cyclops depth module. What else have I blueprinted? Oh, we got the Mach 2. That's right. Okay. Alright. Let's see if we can find that there entrance again. We'll just go right back in there. How about them apples? Applesauce, bitch. If I can figure out how to get back in there. Ah, uh, come on now. Let the captain in. I wonder if there's anything in here worth going back and getting. No, there's not. Okay. I can't believe it didn't acknowledge my PDA. My game is just all sorts of glitching. Alright. What's GTFO? Let's see what else we got we can explore in here and not find. Because apparently the game is glitchy. Well, I did say when we started this, you know, this being an early development game, there was going to be some glitches. We are seeing those glitches now. Oh, this just leads to another way out. Okay, well, I guess we have fully explored this wreck. A little anticlimactic, but at least we got our, our, our uh, Cyclops death module. So Polly can get her upgrades. Hang on. We got to let our, our, our thrusters recharge here. Come on, Bubba. Do it for Dada. Yay. All right. Let's save because I'm going to try to park her inside. I'm going to try to park Ed inside of... Polly with the arms attached to see if they have fixed that glitch. It's going to be a little test run. We'll see what happens. Before I do that, I saw a piece of uraninite over here. I'm going to go ahead and start collecting this uraninite because this stuff becomes pretty valuable later on. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, Ed. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems well, we're not alive. flying aimlessly through the sea, so that's a good sign. All right. All right, let's put some stuff in some people. Megan, I don't think Derek has much room left. Because we had to fill Derek with poop. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have to go ahead and build us another locker. Just more lockers we'll have, we'll get to name my, maybe we'll name two in the next episode. You know what, let me take that one back, because I actually built that one a little, that one's bugging my OCD, because it's a little bit lower than the rest of them. There we go. 
That's better. All right, boom, 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 boom. I'm putting stuff inside of people. All right, I'm trying to decide if I want to go ahead and go after that other wreck that's in the Grand Reef. Because there's actually two wrecks in the Grand Reef. Or if I want to go ahead... Well, now that, now that we've got that uh, upgrade, let's see what it takes to make it. Plasteel ingot and a ruby. We've got ruby. It's not entirely sure how much uh, titanium we have left. So what's... I guess... Uh, when we get... Back to base, we'll have to s check out the modification station there. See how much it takes to make the Mach 2, because I'm assuming that's where you get to make the Mach 2 at. Actually, we can look here. What am I talking about? I'm being a stupid captain. Okay, there's the Cyclops Mach 2. That takes two plasteel ingot and three nickel ore? Where do you even get nickel ore? Okay, so uh, I actually had to look it up. And we can't actually get nickel until uh, we can go down deep enough to get into the Lost River. And I think I've about decided we're going to go ahead and go after that other wreck. Engine powering up. Okay, so we've been hunting the other wreck. And we have found it. Okay. The problem is, while we were hunting it, and you didn't miss much, so don't worry. While we were hunting this wreck, we actually got attacked by our little by our friend again. The uh, ghost leviathan it only got us once though before I managed to shut down the engine. So we're not too damaged. I'm just trying to find us a good place to park right now. This should be decent. Alright. Okay, let's take it off of silent running. Engine powering down. Because silent running, which is great because you don't get attacked, but it's also, as you can see right here, it's also a huge power draw. Alright, let's see how bad we're hurt. Okay, we've only got one. That's fine. I can repair that right now. Let's just go ahead and go outside and do a repair. We need to get our repair tool out first. Okay, boom. Okay. Show me where it hurts, Polly. I must fix you. I hear it. There it is. All right. That sh should fix our poly all up. Ow. Hit a little steam vent there. All right. All right let's go ahead. Do this. Get us a little bit of water, it's going there. Alright, let's go check out this wreck. Oh great, a warper. See if there's anything of interest out here before we actually go inside. Oh, under the sea. Under the sea. Stuff always happens. And I crap my pants. Tiddly he. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything major going on out here. Alright, where can we go into this beastie? I think I see us. A purchase point. 
and I hear a warper right on our butts. So let's hurry up and get in this thing before the warper gets us. Nah, -uh. boy, it was right on my ass. All right, let's get all up in this bitch. We're all sideways and jump. Hello there. What are you? What are you? It's a spade fish. Should have guessed that, I reckon. Okay, so this. Ooh. Anything in you? Alright. So that was a bust. Let's get our laser cutter back out. Alright, let's see what we got. We got another door to cut. Okay. We're gonna need another battery for our cutter here before too long. I hope we can make it through this door. Oh yeah, we got it. Let me in! Through the hole! Okay. Got some boxes. Nutrient blocks. Nutrient block. Nutrient block. Well, we got food for days, man. Okay, okay, now. Another door to cut. We don't have any more batteries. Alright. Let's see how deep we can make it into this anyway. I don't think we're going to have enough. We're not going to have enough. Oh man, we were just shy. Okay, can we take a battery out of something? Alright. I don't think we're going to need... I didn't mean to do that. I don't think we're going to need our habitat builder. For now. Alright. Oh, PDA, is it going to screw us this time? Yes! Integrating new PDA data. Oh, 30 seconds. crap, I just noticed. No, that one. Okay. <laughs> Woo! I genuinely did not think we were going to make it there. Where'd the door go? Oh, we went through too many. Man, those warpers are so creepy sounding. The reason I don't use the, the sea glide to get through here all the time is because... I don't know, as tight as these corridors are, sometimes it can be kind of hard to maneuver them with the sea glide. Okay, so there wasn't really anything else to have here anyway. All right, let's go head back to Polly and read our, P our new PDA. Let's see if we can make it back to Polly without getting warped. Ugh! Get drilled! They don't like being drilled. Oh! 
Open up for us, Polly. Yay, Polly! Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Okay, don't care. What all we got? All right, let's go put some stuff up. We're gonna keep that battery out because we're gonna put that in the charger when we get back. Okay, let's see what our new PDA says. It's a public document. Mind of Strader 6. How are the individuals which make up a hive mind to be categorized? Are they merely dumb components of the larger intelligent organism? Or is the larger mind merely a product of the independent organisms? Can it be both? We define organisms by their traits, but find invariably that these traits depend on those of their environment. The concept of a tadpole is meaningless without the concept of the frog it will develop into. The idea of a predator is empty without an understanding of its prey. This begs the question, if we define everything by reference to everything else, what are have what are have we actually explained? An illustrative experiment was recently performed on the hive mind colony discovered on Strader 6. A device was placed outside the nest which would electrocute individuals approaching it. An ant colony would have lost many individuals before basic danger signal was successfully communicated between them, resulting in learnt avoidance of the device. Successful but costly, the Strader 6 colony quickly formed into two factions. One attempted to move the device by brute force sacrificing individuals as they did so. The second attempted to cover the device in sand. These two goals being mutually exclusive, a fight ensued. The first faction was beaten in virtue of their reduced numbers. The device was safely buried and the survivors called a truce. From the perspective of the individuals, this experience must have been horrific. From the perspective of the hive mind, a nagging problem had been overcome with the most effective solution. Which, per which perspective is the correct one? I suggest that it is neither. By attempting to fit such entities into one rigid set of concepts, we are painted onto the world a false impression of concreteness and meaning, which is a reflection of our, conce of our concepts of ourselves. We describe Strader 6 individuals as attacking one another, just as we describe microbes in the human body as doing the same. Yet the Strader colony, like the body, cannot be healthy as a whole without the aggressions of its components. We describe neurons in the brain as being dumb, but brains as a whole as intelligent. But when an idea takes hold in the brain and forces our inferior ones, forces out inferior ones, do we describe this as an act of aggression? Do we mourn dead neurons? When a philosophy or a technology takes hold in human society, when wars are fought over them and people die, is it rightly seen as being good or evil? This is not to undermine the meaning of our existence. From where we stand, our existence is very serious indeed. But is our civilization and our universe really any different from the colony on Strader 6? Is intelligence something limited to things of flesh and blood? Or is the universe truly one giant intelligent system? And we... And we, but amoeba, blowing self-important potholes in its surface. We would do well as scientists to remember that our goal is not to paint the world as we see it, but to see it as it truly is. Well, that was a long and intelligent document that added absolutely nothing to the story. Alright, so we... We, uh... We met the goal that we set out to do. Let's head on back to the lag town. And engine powering up. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's head on back to Lagtown and see if we can't do some upgrading on old Polly here. Yeah? Cause I need to step outside for a second. I need to step outside for a second and get us some, some creep vine samples. Actually, I see some titanium that could be of some use to me. So we are about to need some uh, titanium. Yeah, I definitely need to get some seed seed vine uh, samples. Seed. 
Actually, you know what? I might set up another garden outside of Lagtown. Let me collect some seeds. How much room do I have? I'm going to go ahead and collect as many seeds as I possibly can here. Because I might actually uh, grow my own creep vine. Okay, inventory full. We're gonna start. We're gonna build ourselves another uh, another outdoor garden and grow ourselves some creep vine. Lag town. We're home, guys. All right. Let's cut her off. Engine powering down. All right. Before I do anything else. Watch out for the poop fish. I need to collect me some not being eaten by stalkers. Come on, where are all the bladder fish? There's never bladder fish around when you need them. There we go. Is this mirror? Was that one standing still? Oh yeah, that's right. Our inventory's full. Crapitation. I don't remember part. Hey, Johnny Five's back. Not sure how that happened. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Let me. Yeah, I got some water. Okay. Vital signs stabilizing. Right, that staves off that for a little bit. Let me fix Weebo. Welcome aboard, Captain. I wonder how Johnny Five ended up. Maybe they fixed the. Uh, maybe with whatever upgrade they've done that put that thing in our poly. They fixed the uh, the skate pod from drifting. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. All right, let's go. Uh, park Ed in the moon pool. Because we got one thing we got to do here, and I cannot believe I'm about to do this because this was the only suggested color, and I am a man of my word. There we go. <laughs> Interior, we're gonna make black. Stripe one. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna go all out with this thing. All right. So it was suggested that I paint Ed pink. So there we go. Ed is pink. Horribly, horribly pink. Oh my god. Ed, I'm so sorry, man. Okay, we got that done. Let's check this. Okay, we're good. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's make us some fiber mesh. I don't remember how much, how much fiber mesh do we need to build one of these things? We just needed the one. Okay. We also needed to build a computer chip. Everything else we... Okay, let's go ahead and do one thing. Hang on. How much seed vine cluster do I have left? Got... Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, 
where's that battery? Okay, do I have any batteries? Seems like I had some fully charged batteries in here somewhere. There we go. Okay. Let me go ahead and build me another exterior grow bed. Can I sneak it onto right here? I can. Awesome. Okay. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and plan all of that. All right, let's go build some stuff on Polly. Okay, what all did I need to make that computer chip? Let me see. I still need one silver ore, which I'm pretty sure I have in here. Two table coral, gold, copper wire. Okay. Uh. Two table coral, gold, copper wire. There's my gold. There's the must be the copper. There's the silver ore. Okay. Wait a minute. Did I get the table coral? I don't forgot what I need already. I didn't even need... Did I need the silver? I did need the silver, but I need table coral. Somebody up here had some table coral. Megan, you got table coral. Alright. Um, let's build our copper wire. Then our computer chip. We should have everything we need to make us a thing right there. Yay! Alright. Okay, what we got going on? Still got one titanium left somehow. But yay! Wait a minute, hang on. Oh yeah. But yay! We made it home! We made it back in one piece. Nobody died. We didn't lose any of our vehicles. Yay, we're jumping for joy. So yeah, this is going to be the end of our episode. So next time, we'll uh, we'll work on making those uh, upgrades for Polly. I hope you're all still enjoying Subnautica. If you are, like, subscribe, leave a comment or two. Let me know what games you would like me to play. So I do hope you're enjoying. And as always, I will see you on the next flight. Peace out. Hey, Martha. Come fly with me. Let's fly. Let's fly away.